Hi, this is Tony. We're going to learn about Team Viewer. We're going to launch it. You need a customer to join you. So just invite the partner, give them the URL listed, or give them the URL that I have created. It's uh, get.teamviewer.com slash agjoinr. Once they put that URL in, they'll be greeted with a dialog box. They may have to download this or and run it, or it may show up automatically. Simply enter the number that they provide you, and these are them, into your partner ID. And once you do that, and you insert their ID that they provide, you'll connect right to them. This is their ID. This is what they see. They'll tell you. You put it in. They'll give you the temporary password. And then you will connect to their computer terminals. After the password is entered, you're looking at their screen. Here's some of the tools available to you. First off, you can record their screen by hitting Start, Record under the Extra section. You'll see a little Record uh, top right corner. It'll uh, be red. And let them uh, replicate the issue. And once they're done, you can go ahead and stop the recording. And it will allow you to save the file to the hard drive. It's a TBS format and it will save to where you need it to save and if you open it up you can convert it to an AVI file. You can also take snapshots with the same tool. Extras, system information. There's your IP, you can do a trace route. There's your operating system. If you want to close the session, you press this X right here. If you look at some of this, you can switch sides with the partner so they can see your screen. You can do a control alt delete, lock their computer. Here's a great one. You do same key combinations. If you copy anything from their screen while this is on, you can paste it to your end. Other tools, quality. If you have slow internet connection, use optimized speed. Otherwise, use auto select. Audio video, if you need to chat with them, you can press audio video chat. You can type in a chat message to them. Hello, hello. You can do more than just chat. You can do uh, video transmission or voice over IP. Other sections are file transfer. If you need to um, basically FTP kind of a uh, file to them or vice versa, you can use this interface. You can pick a file, hit send, and the customer will receive your file. Hit the send button and then they'll get the file that you sent. It's great for uh, sending uh, instructions, Excel files, mark records, or anything else you want to send the customer. The right pane has a uh, little uh, icon where you can press it and see all of these little features. The same features that are here or on the top of your screen. So if you need to quit the session when you're done, just put press the X on the top. I would type a comment in of, as far as what you had uh, corrected on their system and hit save. It'll save it to some kind of log file that we can kind of monitor what's going on with the customer. Another way to, to connect to a customer is to create session, email the customer, type in the customer's email address, hit invite. This URL right here is another URL other than the invite. It has a session number on it. If you provide that to the customer and they go to that particular session, it's not much they have to do on their end other than just run the program and what, they'll, what you'll see is green in this box. So for Lana Turner it's gray right now, but if she were to run the session URL and she ran whatever application it asked her to, she would turn green, you would press her, and you would be able to connect right to her.